it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to spend some time with you uh, in this public healing event. It's for the 3, 3, the 3rd of March. It may not quite be the 3rd of March for you yet, but it is here and uh, the sun is rising and uh, it felt good to be here. So I am here. <laughs> so welcome. Um, I want to send out an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Um, so my intention, like I try and do most power days of the month, which is the 3rd of the 3rd, the 5th of the 5th, the 12th of the 12th, although I haven't I don't think I've made it in the last couple of months, but I do try my best to be here on the power day of the month. Um, so as usual, I've been doing these for quite a few years now. My plan is I'll be here for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. I'm going to smudge first. So we'll smudge and clear our energy that allows us to get rid of the stuff that we, we're carrying on the surface, meaning the things that are at the forefront of our mind, the stresses and the pressure that we're feeling in our everyday life. So I see smudging as helping clear and shift that energy. So when that shifted, like before we do a healing or go into meditation, it allows us to go deeper into that meditation or that healing experience because we've got the stuff that's been at the forefront We've got that aside just for a little bit. So we'll smudge. Um, then I will actually, <laughs> I don't know why I bought my drum over. I'm not going to be able to use it. So mm, I might have to, I might have to nip over there and grab my chimes. So anyway, I've got my singing bowl and I'll go, grab my chimes in just a second. Um, and there'll be two then uh, parts of the healing journey so we'll go into time for you to receive and time of giving so what that means is um, after we smudge I will pull a healing energy card and then I'll use one of these instruments probably the singing bowl actually and we'll go into time of receiving so this will be a time oh, actually I can use the drum yeah, I'll use the drum for that because I don't need to talk. So it will be time for you to receive. So to soak up and soak in or embrace or embody whatever it is that you need at this time. So it will be purely for you, your time to receive. And then the energy will shift and we'll go into our time of giving. And that's where I direct the energy and guide us to um, send energy out to others. So you can give some thought to people who you know who are unwell perhaps or areas of the earth and then um, so we send it out and then we'll finish off <laughs> so I trust that makes sense so basically smudging receiving giving that's what we'll be doing and look what I've got I've got my new cards I tell you they're big they're gonna be big to you so if you're combining yours <laughs> you'll have to be patient and maybe shuffle, certainly shuffle uh, long ways because they are quite big to manage. So I understand some people might want to use the decks separately, have deck one and deck two on their own, but I quite like having the decks together and they feel so good. So I've been sitting with these when I've had time um, these last couple of days. So I'll be using the real thing. We've got the real cards have arrived if you didn't get the memo. So welcome everybody. Uh, hi Joe. hi Patsy and Sonia. Welcome, welcome and those of you connecting today. So we're going to go into our time of smudging. So I'm just going to light the smudge stick. Please join me if you are interested. Join me as in when, in this healing journey if you have time. If you don't have time or you're in the middle of something, maybe come back and connect with it later. So take some nice big breaths. And this will be time to clear and put aside the things that you've got going on in your life, basically. Your everyday things. It's 
not well lit yet. I'll just light another. Yes, the new card. I'll tell you, the quality of these cards, like the print quality, are the best I've ever seen for any of my card decks. Even though we have them printed at the same place. They must have um, new equipment or something because these cards... Like the artwork, uh, the, the detail on the print is absolutely incredible. Just so incredible. I mean, I don't know if you can see that very well. But the detail and the crispness of the font. Uh, yeah, I, I just love them. <laughs> I love them so much. They feel so good. Okay, so nice big breath. We're going to uh, do some smudging. So take a nice big breath. As we ask this sacred smoke to wash over our bodies and carry away with it all negative energies, entities, cords, hooks, attacks and attachments. Let's surrender all that stuff we're holding on to tightly to that's got no room to heal. We ask or we surrender this to the sacred smoke. And also if you've got things on your mind, things that you've got to do, things that you're trying to resolve, things that you're working on at the moment. Maybe imagine putting those in a box outside your door and you can return back to those tasks later so that you can fully be here and receive what you need and come together in connection, reconnection with yourself and reconnect or connection with others and you can tend to that box when you're finished so so it is all right let's put the stick out I've got some sand in here welcome welcome lovely to see you all oh it feels so good to be here it certainly feels like autumn is coming although the sun is hot through the day but the nights are just getting a little cooler and a little damper and the sun is literally just rising here behind so actually over time as we're as I'm here the sun might sort of brighten things up a bit but it's literally just rising over now um, actually I better let you know where I am I'm in Tasmania Australia if you didn't know and it is um, Friday the 3rd of March it's exactly 7.18 a.m. So as you will see, for those of you who are going to be working with the cards, we'll be sending out pre-orders as soon as we can, which will be in the next week or so. I've got my combined deck here, two decks, Healing Energy Cards 1 and 2. My templates are gone, and i got the real thing. It's so nice. So they're quite big cards. Um, and they, there's quite a lot of them when you combine them up like this. And I'm one card short because there's one under my pillow that I haven't got yet. Um, but if you can shuffle them vertically like this, and if you've got fairly small hands, you can just really move them about. You don't even have to shuffle like that. You can just move them about if you need to or fan them or whatever. So I'm looking for the best card now as we go into our time of receiving that means this is now your time. Turn things off. Shut the door if you can. Put up the do not disturb sign just for these five, ten minutes for you to receive. It's your time to replenish and to receive. So I'm looking for the best card we need now because this is a new deck, literally brand new. Um, and I've only been working with it for less than two days. Uh, it just takes me a little bit to find the best card because I'm just getting the energy working, if you like, all my energy in the cards. So the best card for the majority of us for our time of receiving is this card here. Oh, we've got Healing Energy Cards number two. So it's a new card from the new deck. And it's this, Incoming Clarity, card 87, Incoming Clarity. It's in the rise category and down here it says a new level of thinking. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. It says open your mind, be patient, clarity is coming, trust in perfect timing, creative thinking, remain curious and positivity. 
So and it feels like an extension, almost like the clarity and the solution or whatever it is that we're looking for is coming out from us energetically, unconsciously, um, either by setting intentions or just having the thought or the question in our mind. How is this going to work out? How will I do this? These sorts of questions we have in our mind or we might verbalize is like sends energy out from us, out into the universe, like these arms on this star. And the, the energy goes out to look for that solution or look for that answer to that question or look for that clarity. So our energy is doing that and then it brings us to the clarity or brings the clarity to us. We meet each other, if you like. That's how I sort of see it happening. Um, but we have to get out of our way too, to, um, because if we want this and we ask this question or we want this thing or we hold this intention or we have this prayer, we might send that out into the universe, but then our actions may not reflect what that intention is. So if the clarity doesn't come, it's a bit like yesterday when Corey and I were, we were digging a trench outside and we got some rocks, I can tell you, some huge rocks. Um, and we had to go under, we have to burrow under two paths, uh, two paths. So we burrowed under one yesterday and got through. But it reminds me of when I was a kid at the beach and you'd make a sand castle and then you'd build a tunnel. And I'd have one of my sisters on the other side, I'd be on uh, this side. And you'd be burrowing through the through the, under the sandcastle to try and find your sister's hand on the other side, you know, as we meet, met in the middle. So if the energy you're sending out is not matching the actions that you're taking or the words that you're saying, then it's like tunneling that burrow and tunneling that other burrow that's coming to you. You're tunneling a burrow out, but you miss each other because you're not quite lined up. So one might be deeper than the other. One might be further to the left than the other. And so the energies don't meet up. So if you're finding that clarity isn't coming and it seems to be something you've wanted for a while, it just doesn't seem to be here, you're not getting the answer or the solution that you want, it might be important to really look at your actions and your words, what you're saying, and make sure that they're matching up with your thoughts of actually what you're thinking that you want it's like before COVID. Before COVID, so many people were saying or thinking, I need a break. I'm so busy. I need a break. And then what happens? We have probably one of the biggest breaks in modern history where the whole world was pretty much shut down, as we know. And a lot of us were forced into break, into lockdown, where we couldn't actually leave. And we had that break that a lot of us were thinking or asking for. And then it arrived. So just make sure that what you're asking for, the intentions that you're setting are matching truly what you want because um, you might be surprised at the things that come to you based on what you're sending out there. So clarity is coming. Let's drum. I'm going to drum um, for your time of receiving. I'm going to use my personal drum, my owl. It doesn't like the microphone and the drum don't go get on very well together so I'm going to unpin my microphone I'm going to put it over there and hopefully you can still hear the drum well um, so I'm going to drum for about five or ten minutes and this will be time for you to receive try not to think about other people during this time if you do just trust that they'll be okay imagine putting them in that box outside your door and make this about you let yourself receive, focus on your breathing and your body and what the drum is speaking uh, to you and the, how the drum is supporting you. Because the drum, I find, is like a sound that supports and holds us. So if you need holding, if you need support, if you need strength, if you need healing, if you need clarity, make that priority in these five or ten minutes as I drum for you. So this is about you. We'll focus on other people in a minute. But now it's about you. What do you need coming here? Can you let yourself receive? I'll talk to you when I'm done. There's nothing you can do wrong if you're new to the drum. Just listen and let the drum support you as you breathe and connect. Come away. Okay, I'll talk in a minute.
Mm, thank you. I trust you enjoyed the drumming time. If you just joined in, I was playing the drum with this card in mind. Incoming clarity. And um, that was your time of receiving. So hopefully you're feeling a bit more refreshed perhaps than you were before. So thank you so much. So we're moving into our time now of giving. This is time where we will come together. I'm going to guide us. I'm going to talk us through this. We're going to come together to help share and give or offer this energy that we're feeling out to others who we know who may be unwell or struggling right now. Um, and also around to different parts of the, the world and the earth. So we're going into our time now of giving. So if you have to go, thank you so much for joining me today. Please check out my website if you'd like to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance at templeofbalance.com.au. And if you are enjoying this connection, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment. Please share if you're inspired to. So... We're moving into time of giving now. I'm looking for the best healing energy card we need as we transition over and balance this energy of giving and receiving. So giving time, the best card is this. We've got another healing energy cards, number two. And it is this. Ah, oh, maybe we don't have another. So isn't that funny? Out of 109 cards, because I've got one not here, uh, we've put the exact same card again. I mean, I don't know what the odds are, but I'd say it'd be pretty low to pull the exact same card. Uh, card 87, Incoming Clarity. So clarity has got to be important for this connection today. So what are you looking at being clearer about? Are you being clear enough with what you want? Are things too complicated and muddy and messy and confusing right now? Because maybe you're not clear in your own self about what it is that you want or what it is that you need. And sometimes what we want and what we need are two different things. And it can be helpful to ask, okay, what do I want here and what do I need here? Um, I tend to focus mostly on what I need, especially if I'm looking for clarity, because what I want I tend to already be clear about if that makes sense. So I don't tend to ask too often, you know, what do I want here? Because I already am pretty clear about what I want. I mean, we've got pretty strong characters, a lot of us these days. So, and probably we have for quite some time when I think back over my generations in the family. So what we want is probably reasonably clear, but it may not match up either with what we need. So what do you need for your highest truth? What do you need to be able to keep going? What do you need um, for your highest truth in your life at this time? And is it the same as what do you want? So um, I'm going to play the singing bowl and I'm going to guide us through this. Please follow what I'm saying if you want to and if it feels right. If your intuition is telling you and you are going off on some other tangent and you're not really following what I say, don't feel that you have to follow what I say. I'm trusting my intuition and it's up to you to trust yours. So if your intuition is telling you something different than what my intuition is saying at this time, then please trust your intuition. Your intuition for you is more important than you trusting mine. I trust mine, you trust yours, if that makes sense. Oh, and the singing bowl just loves hearing my vibrations of my voice. It starts ringing. It's eager to go. So I'm going to guide us through. Please follow as needed. And if you get distracted, just come back and, and listen and focus on your breathing. So it's our time of giving now. So nice big breath. Okay, let's just reground ourselves, especially if you've just joined in. So make sure your feet are nice and flat on the floor if that's appropriate for the position you're in. Um, feel the weight of your body on the chair or the bed or wherever you might be at this time. So feel the earth beneath you. If you do have your feet on the floor, you may want to take a grip 
on the floor with your toes just to feel more connection. Feel your feet, feel the weight of your body there. Feel your physicality basically. And imagine drawing up energy from the earth and allow it to come up through your feet or up through your tailbone or your spine if you're laying down. As this earthy energy comes up into your body like your body's an empty cylinder. Feel that red, brown, earthy love, that support and stability from the earth coming up into your body. Now, if you've got any pain or problems anywhere in your physical body, you can direct or request that this earthly supportive love goes to those areas for healing. So distribute this energy around your body where it's needed and fill yourself up with earthly love. Now imagine that we're all holding hands in this beautiful circle of love. Imagine holding hands with someone next to you who's also connecting now or later. So imagine holding hands as we come together in this circle of love. Together. And as we settle into this energy of connection, Let's start sharing some love that we feel around our circle as we send it out through our right hand and receive it in through our left hand. Giving and receiving from hand to hand, body to body, heart to heart. Feel the energy start to gather and generate and build between us all as we come together with this common, clear intention. And here we send the energy out to each other and we receive from each other, giving and receiving in perfect balance. We cannot give more than we receive and we cannot receive more than we give. And we're also protected, so we're not going to take on other people's stuff unless we are open to it. So we are safe and protected as well. So as this energy builds around our circle, now is the time to imagine placing anyone, loved ones or anyone you know who's not well or is struggling right now, imagine placing them into our circle for healing. We lovingly ask them or request that they come into our circle so we can hold them in a space of love and healing and strength. But we don't force this energy upon them. We put them there or think of them because we care but it's going to be up to them to receive or take this energy on if that's something they want. So we invite them to our circle because we care, but we don't force this on them and we don't direct this to help them with anything specific. Their higher self knows what they need. So place those people in our circle now as needed. circle of love and they can stay there for as long as they need to and now let's expand that energy that we've been feeling from hand to hand heart to heart let's
let's expand that up to our crowns as we share energy around our circle going from crown to crown to crown to crown creating a halo between us all and that energy builds and expands and grows and pushes up out from the circle and um, extends out and envelops the earth covering the earth in this beautiful blanket of love and this love finds anyone who's lost or alone anyone who's grieving or struggling anyone who just needs a bit of love then this love finds them and again we don't force it upon them but we allow them to take it if they choose and we respect that choice let's flow this energy down to the into the waterways and the deepest parts of the earth and into the tops of the mountains and the highest parts of the earth and the atmosphere and all that encompasses the earth. This love finds any animals that need some extra energy at this time and areas of the earth that require it too. So now we leave the earth held in this beautiful blanket of love as we bring our focus back to our circle and back to ourselves as we draw this high vibrational energy we've been creating down through our crowns and into our bodies. If our body was like an empty cylinder and this high vibrational vibrational energy which looks to me like white at this time moves down into our body and mixes with that earthy reddy browny color and energy that we bought up from the earth before and here we merge heaven with earth spirit with matter here we bring all of who we are into this moment into our body into the here and now ready to move forward, ready to be ourselves with clarity, with purpose, with direction, ready to put ourselves to the task, to put ourselves to the test, to see who we are and what we truly are capable of. So feel that high vibrating, buzzing energy running through your body as it mixes beautifully with the grounding energy of the earth. And take some big deep breaths as we let this energy settle now to find its place in our body and our life. To settle into our heart. To help clear our mind and calm down our raw, highly sensitive emotions as we find calm and peace and clarity. So take a nice big breath. And if you are feeling a bit lightheaded, <laughs> uh, maybe wiggle your fingers and toes, roll your shoulders back, do a few stretches and just come back down into your body and feel that energy in your body itself. Feel that high vibration and that earthy energy mixing and feel that as part of your body now, as part of you. So by moving your body, by stretching, that helps you embody and integrate that energy that you've received, that you've personally received at this time. So our card, again, uh, as we connected there, was Incoming Clarity, the same card we just had for our other part. 
the only card I've picked out of two, the first two cards I've picked in this public place, because this is the first time I've used these cards. My new cards. So exciting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I trust that you've enjoyed this healing event. This is my only sort of public healing event I do each month. I do uh, a few private ones for my Pillar of Light members and for my patrons. Um, and I try and be here on the power day of each month. And I forgot to say at the beginning, you know, why am I here for the third of the third? What's the big significance of that? Nothing. <laughs> uh, nothing really to me. It just feels good to be here and that's good enough for me. I don't need to have a big reason and a big list because of whatever is happening and whatever gateway or portals opening or whatever is aligned here or there. I don't really care about that stuff. To me, that's that's too in general, unless I feel it really strongly, it's a bit too out there for me. I'm a bit more closer to home sort of person. So if it feels right to me, then I will be here. If I have the time, I will be here as well. So that's why I'm here for the third of the third. If you've got specific alignment with the number three, then great. That's fantastic for you. Um, but it's I'm just here because it feels good. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be here again on the fourth of the fourth. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, you can look back in my video tab for probably hundreds of <laughs> videos from the past. I've been doing these events for many years. Um, so please have a look in the video tab if you want to connect with any more videos I've done. I tend to have keywords in there um, as needed. Um, if you want to grab yourself a deck of my brand new Healing Energy Cards number two or my upgraded healing energy cards number one which is my most popular deck this is the fourth print run and the third edition uh, please have a look on my website you'll find pre-orders have opened the cards have literally just arrived like less than two days ago about 36 hours ago um, so we are working on pre-orders the decks launch online on my healing energy cards facebook page on saturday the 11th of march so Pre-orders will start getting those organised over the weekend, but it's going to take us at least a week to get the pre-orders together and ready to go. We've got a lot of pre-orders to send out, so thank you for your pre-orders. Um, if you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance, please visit templeofbalance.com.au. Okay, let's pull a card to go. Gosh, it feels so good not to be shuffling. Photo card, a photo paper, 110 pieces of photo paper. It is so good, and I could swear, <laughs> it is so good because uh, usually cards slip and slide and they're so flimsy and these feel so nice. Uh, there is a lot of them, but uh, once you get used to it, these are really nice to shuffle. So I'm looking for the best card that the majority of us need now. Thank you, everyone, uh, as we move forward from here. So what do I mean by that? I mean I'm looking for a card that we can carry into our everyday life now. Um, how can we implement what we've received during this time together? How can we help that impact positively in our everyday life? So the best card that the majority of us need now as we move forward from here over these next 24-ish hours is... Okay, let's go with this card here. We've got Healing Energy Cards number one. And we have this card, Mental Healing, card 19. It's in the depth category here. And down here it says, Healing of your mind through exploration and inner reflection. Get back in charge of your thoughts. Clear your mind, positivity and awareness. This is really another mental card. I mean, obviously it says mental, but maybe I, what I mean to clarify is that pulling the other card twice, incoming clarity, that is a mental card. Clarity tends to be mental. It tends to happen on a mental level. This is a mental card as well. So what we're being encouraged to consider in this next 24-ish hours is the state of our mind. And make sure our mind is clear, for one, that we're not cluttered with 
what happened and what he did and what she did and the story of what happened two weeks ago that we keep repeating in our head and repeating to everybody who who listen or not listen. <laughs> but just be really careful what we've got going on in our mind that we're not cluttering things up and, and filling up the space, meaning time, in our life with all this unnecessary thought or unnecessary thoughts that end up coming becoming actions or becoming words that we speak. So I think this next 24 hours, being really aware of the state of our mind and make sure it's not too cluttered so that the clarity for one can come that I talked about before, but also so that we can resolve issues that we might be carrying or resolve um, an imbalanced mind if our mind has been taking over. And I like to use the idea or the thought that my mind is in the driver's seat of my life and it's taking over and I'm not in the driver's seat, but my lower mind is. And so I keep thinking the worst. I keep thinking doubtful thoughts. I'm thinking negatively. I'm filling up my mind with all that junk that doesn't need to be there. Do the thoughts that you're thinking right now or have been thinking over these next 24 hours anyway. Do those thoughts need to be there? Are they supportive and healthy for you? And if they're not, if they pull you down, if they're unnecessary, if that's junk thoughts, then pu push them away, pull them out, cut them out, throw them out, show them the door. That's what I like to do. Show them the door. Go Walk over to the main door, one of the main doors in your house, if you're in your home at the time, and kick your thoughts out. Open the door, kick them out, tell them to go, shut the door behind you. And the first time you do that, the thoughts will jump straight back in. So you open the door again and you kick the thoughts out. And you do that 50 times if you need to. As you're aware of what's going on in your mind, then you can realize and pick and choose the thoughts that are supportive and aren't. And the ones that aren't, you have the power to do something about. So kick them out, banish them, throw them out. I sometimes imagine that I'm picking the, like this ball, like a tennis ball, out of my mind and I'm throwing those thoughts away or I'm cutting them out like big, they're a big tag that comes out of my head and I have this big pair of scissors and I just cut and cut and cut and just really clear, clear our mind basically of the junk, of the stuff that doesn't need to be there. And in other words, that's like taking that part of ourselves out of the driver's seat of our life because it will take over and it will want us to drive off a cliff eventually. So if we can get that part of ourselves out of the driver's seat and get our heart and get our um, higher self into the driver's seat of our life and we steer it and we choose what we think and we choose where we go and we choose how we're going to get there, um, then that takes that uncertain, doubtful, scared part of ourselves out of being in charge because it's not fun when that part of us is in charge because it's... It, we feel really insecure because it's like having a young child driving our car while we're driving along on the road and we're letting our young child drive our vehicle and drive us somewhere. It's probably not going to end well. So that child within us, our lower mind, it wants to take control and... We need to choose, like any responsible parent, that that child should not be driving. That part of our mind should not be leading the way for us in our life. So are you ready to let your mind heal by taking charge of your thoughts? That doesn't heal on its own, because on its own, like any young child that's given control like that to drive a vehicle, it's going to have a great time going to have a great time we have to step up as the responsible parent within ourselves to get that part of us out of control controlling the controllers out of the driver's seat as we step in we know what we need we know what we want um, so let's take steps to trust that so I trust this helps you clear your mind get back in charge of your thoughts healing of your mind through exploration or awareness and inner reflection so you can find peace of mind so thank you so much for connecting have a fantastic uh third of the third 
I will see you again very, very soon. Um, take care of yourself and see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, see the sun. Yes. <laughs>